everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Charmaine and I like to unbox subscription boxes, talk about books, and generally just have a good time. So if you're in for any of that, please consider subscribing. And today I'm doing a Mask Monday collab with Sandy's Books and Beauty for the Ages. Woo -woo! Welcome to YouTube, Sandy. Oh, this is very exciting. Okay, I'm very excited. Um, first I'm going to show you the mask and then we have some book related questions that we're doing. I'm so pumped. <laughs> Okay, so the mask I have today is the Rejuvenating Tea Tree Soothes Dry, Soothes Skin Damage, and it's by the Glam Up brand. I got this from Buffy Summers, actually, and I love these. I think I'm going to buy some so I can put them in giveaways on the channel because, honestly, it's awesome. It's so, like, the material of it is so light that it's, like, sunk into my skin. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but, like, there, it's, like, it doesn't feel like anything's sitting on my face, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is a book one, and I should have like grabbed the books that I was gonna talk about first. Yeah, I got one right here. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll just put that back. All right, I dropped that on the floor, and we're just gonna continue because that's how it goes around here. <laughs> Okay, so today we have 11 questions, and it is a book-related theme because, like I said, it's Sandy Books and Beauty for the Ages, so she's also a reader as well, which is cool because I like to unbox subscription boxes, do hauls, talk about books, stuff like that. So it kind of worked out perfect, and she's, like, brand brand new to YouTube. Like, she, I think, has had her channel for maybe a month at this point. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's about a month. So that's pretty neat as well. So we have 11 questions here, and we both did, like them together like we chose our questions together so it's like a half and half collab which is cool um the first question is what's your favorite genre and mine is YA fantasy and like mystery not mystery nope YA fantasy and sci-fi that's it yeah so this is all like all behind like this whole side of my room is like YA stuff pretty much so honestly I think it all is <laughs> And then I have like, I'm not really a big fan of contemporary ones and I really don't like romance books. So those are like the two things that I kind of don't read really. Um, number two is do you prefer series or standalone books? I love series. I, I never feel as though there's enough time in standalone books to get the whole entire, like, not the whole entire like message out, but it's almost like I, you know, like I like trilogies and movies. I like trilogies and books, stuff like that. Cause I like to be in the world longer than just like the time that I'm reading it the first time, if that makes sense. Like I really enjoy being in the same world for multiple books at a time. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. I don't know if that's working out well. <laughs> Number three is what new release books are you looking forward to the most? So there's this series called the Retribution of Mar Mara Dyer. It's by Michelle Hodkin. Hodkin? Hodkin. And there's three books in this set, and then there's three books in the Noah Shaw series, which is like an accompany set. And only two of them are out so far. I don't honestly think that she's ever going to publish the third one, but that's the new release that I'm looking forward to the most. They did originally say it was going to be out in like 2021, then it was 2022. Now it's, I think they have it like listed as like 2028 or something like that. Like as far as I know, she's written it, but she just hasn't published it yet. But I don't know if that's because of like the thing that happened or like, you know, what's going on kind of there. But I honestly hope that she publishes it because I've read this series, like this set of them, but I haven't read the ones with Noah Shaw in it because I need to read the books at the same time. I have a bad memory. If I don't read them all at the same time, then I don't remember what happened. So Yeah. I really, really want her to release this book. <laughs> like, number three. I even taught, like, I, at the beginning of my channel, I had, like, a separate video where I was like, is this book ever going to be released? I don't think so. Like, I don't know. Okay. Number four is, do you DNF, which is do not finish books, or do you make yourself finish them? I DNF all the time. I am not cool with making myself do anything that I don't want to do. And if I have to make myself do something that I don't want to do, it's really bad. Like, I would just stop reading. Honestly, I'll just be like, no, and that's how I get into like my downswings with reading, like my reading slumps kind of thing, is I'm like, oh, I need to finish this book though because I bought it, and so I should actually read it. No. Book collecting and book reading are two very separate hobbies for me. I like both of them equally, but separately. <laughs> Number five is, do you reread books? Yes, I do. I'm rereading um, 
the City of Bones series up here. I think you guys can see it. And I've reread White Oleander like, I don't know, 50 times. I love that book. So yeah, I do like to reread books. I also, because I have a bad memory, sometimes like I don't remember them. So the reread for me is like, ooh, brand new book. You know, I'm like a Dory the goldfish. Ooh, it's a ship. Ooh, it's a ship. You know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Number six is who are your five favorite authors and why? Okay, so I did not research this as per usual. So I'm just going to look around and figure it out. Uh, Jane Austen, for sure. I love all of her books. Um, Cassandra Clare, I would go with because I have a lot of her books. Also, Sarah J. Moss. She's over there. That's a pretty good one. Um, Philippa Gregory has like romance novels from like historical romance novels. Like she did The Other Bolin Girl, which also became a movie. And I like that series a lot. And then... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Am I at five? Uh, no, I, like I don't think so, but... <laughs> Oh, I do know. Um, I don't have it here. It's A.J. Howard. She wrote my favorite retelling of Alice in Wonderland. So it's called Shattered in its entire series. And then I bought all of her books. So yeah, she would be my fifth one. Now as to why, uh, Jane Austen, I love her. I just do. Like I've read all of her books and I have like multiple collections of them because I think that they're pretty and I just really like them. Uh, Philippa Gregory, I really, like, for a while, I was very, very obsessed with that Henry, whatever one he was, and, like, the royals from that time. I, I'm sad about the queen, by the way. But, like, yeah, so from the royals from that time with, like, Anne Molin and, like, how he got, he was the first person to get divorced, so he, like, made divorce a thing and, like, all of that kind of stuff. Obsessed with that series. Um, Cassandra Clare writes really cool sci-fi fantasy books and there, it's like a whole set like there's the six of them and then there's like a three set and a three like a three pre prequel and a three sequel and like there's um shadow hunter's guide and there's magnus bane has his own book and like oh i just love her sarah j moss is like pretty new to me but i started getting her when she got the crown of midnight and city of glass and stuff like that. i think it is city of glass no that's city of glass up there uh my hair band is coming out yeah, I don't know. I just really, really like books. I honestly should have probably planned this a little bit better, but that's not how I roll around here. <laughs> Number seven is if you got a, if you got stranded on a desert island, what books would you take with you? I would definitely take this Cassandra Clare books because I haven't actually read that whole series. And there's so many in that series that I would have a great time with that. Also, I'd need to learn how to like build a fire and stuff because I don't have any of those skills. <laughs> make myself laugh also girl does not know how to barbecue so I don't think like cooking over like a good open stove thing would like work out for me well <laughs> number eight is do you ever give books less than three stars or do you just not review the book so I'm assuming because like this is one that uh Sandy came up with and I'm thinking that she's talking maybe about goodreads but I don't like I do have goodreads but I don't really rate books on there very often and I don't really have like a good rating system. Like, like if you guys have ever seen any of my book reviews, like one time I was like, I don't know, seven out of 10 cashews. Like, uh, cause I don't know. I like, sometimes I give it 10 stars. Sometimes I give it like five thumbs up. Like I, I'm, I'm kind of all over the place as per every single video that I have on this channel. So like, that's my real life, you guys. This is how I am in real life. Like I'm not faking this. I'm very spacey and I kind of don't pay attention. So I would still talk about a book probably if it was less than three stars, but because I don't really have a rating system that makes sense to anyone, including myself, I don't know what three star books are. So like, I could just be like, oh, I kind of like this one. It was okay. Like, does that count as a three star? No, probably not. I would probably still give that higher because something in it would have made me finish reading it. Because like I said, like, I don't finish books if I don't like them. Or if like, I can't get into a book and I'm like, nah, that's it for me. I just like put it to the side. Like I was reading Escaping from Houdini from the Carrie, I can't pronounce her last name series, but you know, it went with Stalking Jack the Ripper. And I just like lost interest. So I set it to the side. It's not because I don't like the book. I just lost interest in it. So I don't really know. Like I don't have a rating system like that. So that doesn't work out for me so well. Yeah. So yes, I would still review them. I don't really use Goodreads and I have no rating system that makes sense is the points that I'm pointing out there. <laughs> 
Uh, number nine is, do you have any favorite childhood books? I really like Little Women. That would probably be one of my favorite ones. My mom did read to me when I was young, but like, I don't really remember any of that stuff. Like I said, I have a bad memory, so it's kind of hard for me to like remember stuff from like that, that I read when I was a kid. But I do like Little Women and I've read that a couple of times. So that's definitely one that I go back to. So that's one, that's what I'm going to say. And number 10 is paperback or ebooks. I don't actually have an e-reader. I do listen to audiobooks. Like, and I just started that when I started this channel, like probably, I don't know, halfway through this channel kind of thing. But mostly I'm like a book collector. So I do like physical books a lot. And number 11 is, do you annotate? And if so, do you ever color code or just tab in every color? So this is one that I, sh I should have grabbed my other one too. I tab in like colors specifically to things. So this color was supposed to be suspects, but your girl thought that was clues and I just kept going with it. And this was supposed to be clues and it didn't end up working out that way. But yeah, this is a good girl's guide to murder. This is what we're reading for book club right now. And so I was definitely paying attention because I wanted to figure out what happened before the end of the book. I have never annotated um, before I got my cozy nook box though. That was when I first started doing it. I didn't actually even know what it was, but she sent me these like tabbies. So I, I've been using these and then I messaged her and I was like, hey, can you send me another one of these if you have any, because I li really like these. So she's going to send me another one in like one of my future boxes. But ever since I did that with, um, what was it? I don't know. It's not there. Oh, Hunting Prince Dracula. Because I was trying to figure out who did it in Hunting Prince Dracula. This is just sliding off. I'm going to take it off. But in Hunting Prince Dracula, I did that. And that kind of actually helped me, even though I didn't figure out who did it at the time. So yes, I do like annotating books. And yes, I do color code them because your girl color codes everything rainbows my life. <laughs> Okay, that went really well. Please welcome Sandy to YouTube, everybody. I do love book stuff and I really enjoy that. I'm a little bit off today. I'm not feeling 100% and I have a little bit of a migraine and I got a lot of videos to film. So these ones might be a little bit low, you guys, but that's where we are. Okay, so for my giveaway, it is gonna be five random sheet masks that I'm gonna pick because I didn't have time to get them together and I'm not gonna pause it. Um, for the rules, you must be publicly subscribed to Sandy and myself to enter so that we can check to make sure that you are actually subscribed. You must comment and tell me, tell me what your favorite book is. And if you're not a reader, just tell me a book that you read in high school or something like that. Um, one entry per person per household. If you decide to unsubscribe from my channel after the winner is drawn or anything like that, you won't be eligible to enter any of my future giveaways. I do a lot of giveaways, but I will be slowing down on that as well because your girl has no time. Uh, <laughs> number five, you must be 18 years old or older to enter. And if you're allergic to anything, I'm not liable. Number six is I bought everything myself and it's not affiliated with YouTube or anything else. Number seven is, should anything get lost or damaged in the mail, I cannot replace it. But because it is sheet mass, I will just send you like five new ones as long as they're lost. Um, number, um, number seven B is, any channels mentioned are responsible for their own giveaways and have nothing to do with my giveaway. So Sandy has nothing to do with my giveaway. I have nothing to do with her giveaway other than the fact that you have to be subscribed to both of us. Number eight is if there's a custom fee on your end, you will re be responsible to pay it. And that could happen because I have had to pay customs fees for stuff coming into Canada. And number nine is I deserve, I reserve the white right to change any items in the giveaway. And I have no timeline as to when I will pick the winner or when I will be sending the giveaway. I have no time, you guys. So like, I'm not kidding when I say like, you'll get it when you get it. And that's pretty much how that goes. And it sounds rude, but it's true. And you may or may not get a tracking number as well. And that's where we are. <laughs> okay, that's it. Please go and check out Sandy's video. Please like this video and check out my description box for other content creators. Thank you, Sandy, so much for hanging out with me and doing this collab with me. This has been a lot of fun. I love talking about books. I'm a little bit spacey today and I don't feel 100%. So that's where we are, but whatever. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a couple of minutes of your day today. I really, really appreciate that. And I really, really appreciate you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.